What's going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel, Bobbin Hood. This is Bob. Today is Friday, August 28th. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the videos and subscribing. Um, I'm just trying to get to my next goal at 100 subscribers. I think I'm currently at 58. So guys, if you like what you see and hear, please hit the subscribe, like, and comment below. So today we are going to be talking about Simon Property Group. If you're familiar with my channel, uh, you know that I am heavily invested in this company. Um, this is my sixth week of selling calls and puts on it. So let's get started. So currently Simon Property Group is trading in the green. They are sitting at 3.36% today and after hours they're at negative 0.03%. For the week, they are up 7.27%. For the month, they are up 9.21%. And three months, they are up 21.96%. They did hit a pretty good high on June 8th at 95.52. And if you look at the year, they are still down 52%. That's $75. So there's definitely room to grow. I don't expect them to hit anywhere near the $130, $40 range anytime soon but I definitely think we can get up to that $95 range probably within the year if not sooner so if you guys have not been watching my channel I did start out selling three puts uh, that expired last week 821 2020 it's $80 put uh, my total investment that I started with was $18,290 in this stock. So I did make a profit of $1,048 in the five week period. So let's look at the spreadsheet that I have for you guys. So I started 717 2020. This was my total investment at $18,290. So I did end up selling a put um, on that date and expired 821 2020. So I did pick a pretty far out strike price that I kind of knew that it would not hit because I did want to purchase this stock um, and to get a premium just to do it this way instead of buying it outright. So the premium I did get, I had $1,903 per contract um, to do this. So I ended up, it did end up expiring, um, not expiring worthless. So I was assigned 300 shares at an $80 strike price, but I still ended up making $1,048 overall. So I was sitting at 19,338 when the shares were uh, given to me. Um, the shares actually were assigned to me early. The person who I did the contract with bought it out early. So I did get it on 820, 2020, so a day before. So just to do something quick, I did sell all three calls contracts for a $70 strike price for just $5 just to try to get something it's like a 12 hour period just to get easy $15 so it just did expire worthless and I did get it $15 in like I said a 12 hour period uh, so the next thing that I did do on the 24th um, I did sell another call at a strike price of $75 that expires 9-18-2020 um, so I did get a premium of $100 each contract. So I did make $300 um, off of just doing this. As long as it doesn't hit the $75 strike price by 9-18-2020, I'm good to go. So this is something called like the wheel system. So if you sell a put and you're assigned, then you want to sell calls. And then if your calls actually um, do it and you have to sell at that price, you just go back to selling puts at whatever strike price that you want. But for the most part, I do kind of want to hold on to them now um, just because their dividend date is coming up in the next, I believe, month, month and a half. So if you look at my total profit for currently where I'm at, 8-28-2020, uh, my current profit is $2,656. So this is just profit on the stock side. Uh, my total investment right now is at 20946 so if you look on this side here, uh, the total amount that I have, the 15 plus the 300, I'm not adding the 1,048 just because I'm putting it. When you sell a put, you kind of, if you're assigned it, you just want to know what the actual dollars are um, at the end of it. So I added it on this side. 
the dividend share. I did actually own 301 shares of this stock um, when they had the ex dividend date. So I was uh, paid a dividend uh, of $392 at that time. So if I take 392 plus 315, which would be a total of 707, my investment profit so far on the stock side is at $2,000. $656. So currently, as we are right now, I am up $3,336 in six week period, adding in the dividend, the option premium, and also the stock profit also. So, so far, so good. So if 9-18-2020 hits and it is above the $75 strike price, I would probably just buy the shares outright just because I want to get that dividend share, uh, but hopefully it does not hit that uh, amount or I'll be forced to sell it or I could always buy it out if I chose to, but it would probably be at a higher premium that I got. So that is all that is today, guys. So if you guys liked what you see, please subscribe, get me to that 100 subscriptions, hit the like, comment below if you have any questions. Um, I am going to be doing a uh, the Jets one for the Jets ETF airline next video and I'll have the same spreadsheet on there. It's a couple big things happening with that stock. Thank you guys. Have a good day.